Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am so excited. As you can see, I'm so excited that I've already prepped my eyes ready to go. But we're going to be trying the brand new XX Revolution XX Cloud Collection. I actually can't get over how big this palette is, like I was not expecting it. But these beauties right here, I am so excited. When I tell you... I got this palette, I literally ordered this yesterday when it came out and I got it today out. Like I did pay for um, express delivery but I was not expecting it to come this quick. I thought it would maybe be like two days, not next day delivery. But when I tell you that I opened this palette this morning and I am not exaggerating when I say I sat and stared at this palette and the colours and even now opening it I am just so amazed but I sat and stared at these, at this palette and all the different shades and the, uh, thinking about 101 different looks that I could possibly do. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let me take the plastic covering off so I can actually show you properly. So let's, let's just go over. So this is the XX Cloud Shadow Palette part of the cloud range, the XX Revolution cloud, cl cl cloud collection. This is a cloud blush. It's a cream blush and it's a lip tint. So we're going to be trying that out. And then we got a cloud highlighter. It's a cream shimmer highlighter. And then we also got the cloud burst priming serum which is this Beauty 2. There was two different serums, there was this one and then there was another one. I got this one because I will show you in a second how it looks and I just had to, I just had to get it. Okay, the plastic sheet is off. I honestly can't get over how big this is but I will be using this palette and doing so many different looks with this. So first what I'm gonna say, Follow me on Instagram because this is gonna be my new palette that I'm literally gonna be using constantly. Look at, just look, just look you'll know by looking how many different looks a person can possibly create with this. It's everything I could possibly ever ask for. And you know one thing? This bit here just says, get your head in the clouds. I am so glad that this doesn't have a mirror and I feel like that's the first time I'm ever saying that because I love mirrors and palettes, but I think it would be way too heavy and just awkward to manoeuvre, so I'm so glad that there is no mirror in this one. As you can see, I have already prepped my eyes. I've gone in with the P. Louise base. I'm just dabbing that out a little bit more as it just creased a little bit because I have had it on for quite a while. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the other products as well. And then we'll go in with the eye look. So, just about to show you the primer that I got. Just look how beautiful. This is the reason why I got this one, like, in particular. Look at those beads all the way through it. How different is that? It's so, so pretty. I love this so much. So this is a primer infused with polysaturides to help improve skin hydration. It's also got marshmallow extract, which moistures and soothes the skin. And Edelweiss, is it Edelweiss extract, also known as flower of purity with antioxidant properties. That sounds pretty good. Look how pretty this is though, I love this. I just absolutely love this, I had to get this. Then we have the blush. At this point I'm now just ripping everything open because... I need it on my face. So this is the blush that we got. This is a blush and a lip tint. So, oh, that is pretty. That is really pretty. And then the lovely highlighter. This is the highlighter. And I got the shade Haze. It's just kind of like a rose gold pink. Okay, so I've literally been imagining so many different looks in my head to do with this eyeshadow palette. So. Let's start. I actually don't know where to start. There's just, I want to use them all, but obviously that would look ridiculous. Right, um, let's go in with, so this is so hard to maneuver. This shade here, this lovely mint blue. Oh my, look at that pigment. Already, look at the pigment and how soft and 
that's such a pretty colour, it looks so nice. Look how pretty that colour is. It's nice and light as well, like obviously it's just a mint, it's like a mint blue and it is just nice and light and subtle, it looks so pretty but it's also got a lot of pigment there. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the darker blue, this blue here. Oh wow, look at that colour. That is such a beautiful colour. I'm just shading it round, all the way around my crease. That is such a beautiful colour. That is such, look at the pigment in that. Guys, just look how beautiful and pigmented that is. I am actually quite shocked at the pigment of that one there. That was that's such a nice deep rich blue. It's almost like a ocean blue, like a Maldives sea blue. It's just so beautiful. So now I am just gonna get my Makeup Revolution removal spray and a cotton bud. I'm gonna spray this and I'm just gonna tidy up around that blue that we've just put there, so. So you can see on this side, I've basically just cut that out underneath and I've taken it all the way across. I'm just gonna go back in with my P. Louise base and I am basically just going to fill this section all in now. Take it all the way up to that line, just nice and neat, just so it makes it a little bit more sharp. Okay guys, so I've just cut that out all the way, all the way around. You can see that I've cut it out and then I've just went back in with the P. Louise base. And I've just literally went around so nice and neat, so you can see that's nice and cut out and sharp. Now we're going to go in with that same blue. And we're literally just going to swipe it on the edge just to create a little liner effect now with this it doesn't really matter if it's messy because we're just going to go underneath and clean it up um, and it'll make it nice and sharp okay so now we're just going to go in with a wipe and literally just clean up all the way So now that is nice and defined, nice and sharp. Now, I don't want to leave it as simple as this. I'm going to go in with this lovely mint green shimmer. This one here, I'm just going to put that where I put the base. See, just look, oh wow. That shimmer is so beautiful. You can just see it coming through there nicely. Just look at the difference from shimmer now and no shimmer. It just completes the look. Look how beautiful it looks. It's just, that shimmer is so pigmented. It's just such a nice shade. I am so in love with how that looks. It seems so simple, but it's just so nice and colorful. We've got the nice deep mint blue and then we've got the shimmer just in the middle. I'm absolutely loving how this looks. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with the primer, which I'm excited for. This is a Cloud Burst Priming Serum. I, I've said this before, but I just love, look at, just look at this. It's so pretty with all those little balls in it. It's got marshmallow extract, and I have been dying to try something with marshmallow extract in it. On our skin, Oh. It doesn't smell of anything. No, it doesn't smell of anything. I was literally hoping it would smell of like marshmallows or something, but it doesn't have a scent to it at all, which is pretty good as well because some scents do irritate your skin. It feels nice. It feels very lightweight formula, but a little bit, the little bit that I just put on my forehead there is going a long way. Um, it feels nice. It does feel really hydrating actually. It feels really nice on my skin. So we've also got to try the highlighter, the blush and the lip tint. Well the blush and lip, lip tint is one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go away, do the rest of my face and then I'll come back to show you guys the blush and the highlighter. So guys, I've just done my full face. Now to go in with the blush. I'm loving this colour. Ooh. It's so creamy. It's literally just... Okay, that might be a little bit too much. I don't know how pigmented this is, so let's hope for the best. 
I'm loving the cream formula, it feels really nice. I'm just going to see if I can blend it out with my brush. I'm loving that colour, it's nice and bright, it's nice and pigmented. It's not, I feel like this would be very buildable, so you could build build it up. Um, you know those blushes where you just put it on, you put one dab on and it just gives you like a big massive dot of pigment and you can't blend it and it kind of just ruins your whole makeup. This is blending out really 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 nice. Like you can see how nicely this is blending out. Okay, I'm liking that. It's nice and creamy, it's nice and pigmented, I like the colour. I think the colour looks so good. Let's just go in with the, oh. Let's just go in with the highlighter. I literally just dipped in. It literally feels so soft. I think this is why it's called cloud because it lit that literally, when I went into that, it, it felt like a cloud. Like the way it was just so bouncy and I don't even know how to explain that. This is a haze. This is the highlight in haze. Just gonna... Do you see that pigment? Do you see that pigment? I was not... Wow, I was not ready for that pigment. This is a beautiful, beautiful highlight. Such a beautiful highlight. The blush tint, we're also gonna put it on our lips because it is a blush and a lip tint. It looks pretty. It does look pretty, but you can see that it is just a lip tint. It's not like a highly pigmented lip color. It does look nice. The shade on my lips, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm not used to using this bright colors, so it works well as a lip tint, but this shade on me, I'm not feeling it. Okay, I am really loving how this has turned out. I'm loving the blush. I really do love the blush tint. It is just so nice, subtle. It's pigmented and it's definitely buildable. The eyeshadow palette, I am not going to get enough of this eyeshadow palette. Like I said at the start, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be doing so many different looks with this palette. I feel like I am going to be using this palette constantly because there's just so much in it, so much I want to try, so many looks I want to create and I'm so excited. So make sure that you do follow me on Instagram. I hope you guys did enjoy this video as well. If you have tried any of these products then let me know in the comments section below what you thought of them. If you like this look that I created here today then again let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.